Hi everyone. Today I'd like to look at controlling the visibility of elements when we are creating a family by using subcategories, especially when we are working with CAD. So I've got a bit of a robotic arm going in the background over there in a CAD file and I'm going to in import this this robot into my model and you'll see how on the import we've got some settings over here uh, part of those is do we want to specify the layers that we bring in that's a typical method that we use to isolate specific elements when the geometry is getting created we're going to import this origin to origin and so on and open now in this case we're dealing with quite a complex file it's got lots of layers and it's got lots of elements and it might take quite a long time to bring each and every um, element in material in so when it comes in we say specify it gives us the layers that we would like to specify and if we just take one of them if we select none and we say okay let's bring in the bearings then it will bring in the bearings and there we can see that it's brought in those elements only you will see them clearly in a 3d view there's some bearings that are sitting over there and we can then carry on and explode them fully fully explode now what that does is it puts them on their own um, everything is one geometry but what's nice about this is we can now control the material through this material category over there so it's very easy to control all of this geometry just through one material element and um, if we look at the visibility graphics overrides you'll see that in generic models uh, there are no subcategories it's just generic models all right so you would have to have a good look at your BEP at your BIM execution plan to see if you may in fact uh, use subcategories for your elements and maybe you've got multiple elements that are coming in or, or multiple geometries that are coming in that must be on the same um, material and you would like to select them after whatever control it is that you want over these elements you can achieve them if you go to the family category and parameters a very common thing to do is to say all right we started off with a generic model but it's not a generic model that we want it's a piece of mechanical equipment so it's a mechanical equipment all right so there we can see that we are choosing the category and parameters and if it was typical HVAC or something then we would even be able to select the part type so if it was an electrical fixture we would be able to say that it was a switch and since it is a switch it will connect to the uh, circuit as a switch in this case it's not relevant it's just a piece of mechanical equipment and there we go and it's done so maybe in this file for whatever reason it's an unconventional Revit project obviously the BIM manager said all right so you may now go and create whatever subcategories it is that you would like to create typically this wouldn't be the case but often we do especially for service access to elements where we want to clash detect but in this case now just to illustrate you would be able to go into the object styles of this file and then go and create a new subcategory and that we can call bearing and okay now once you create this bearing subcategory under the mechanical equipment notice what happens if we save this file and load it into the project alright so there we're placing our our family and now look at the project itself you'll see in the object styles and in the mechanical equipment it also creates the subcategory in this case it didn't where's the mechanical equipment there. there's the bearing mechanical equipment so it's not only now within the Revit family it's also within the Revit project and that's really what you have to watch out for okay so we do this again we go insert well with regards to these elements over there then I need to go into the bearing subcategory there they go there's the bearing subcategory and I'll show you in a moment why this is important 
Let's bring in some more elements. Insert, import. Same file. We're going to specify. I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do the fasteners and we're going to do everything else except for the bearings and the fasteners just to show you how it will, how it will operate. So I'm going to check that and bring in the fasteners. Okay. We can explode. Create a new subcategory. Those are fasteners. And we will then place those elements inside of that subcategory. And then lastly we bring in everything else. You'd obviously spend some time bringing everything in very carefully. And we select everything except the fasteners and the bearings. We explode it, create a new subcategory, assign it to the elements that we brought in. And there we have our elements. What makes this powerful is you can now control what you see by going into your visibility graphics override and say you want to switch off the fasteners, then you can switch the fasteners off. So at any time you can then switch elements on and off and typically everything that's on the same layer will be the same material so you could go and assign something like stainless steel polished stainless steel, little bright new material, we accept that and so we can see that we've got our materials nice and sorted over here. We save the family, bring it into the project and then once again you'll see how the subcategories are transferred to the project so just be careful of that. If you're not supposed to in use these subcategories into your project then definitely uh, don't rather just assign the materials and leave them on the regular uh, categories and subcategories that is required as per the BIM execution plan and enforced by the BIM manager all right <coughs> just as a check let's go to the mechanical equipment and there we can see that everything else in fastness and bearing so it is indeed like that it brings in those categories all right guys well enjoy Revit just note that you can use AutoCAD um, or if somebody else has modeled something in AutoCAD and you want to have it as a family bring it into your into your family and you can manipulate it as we've shown you today until next week keep well <coughs>